we will start tonight with a complaint. We are quite upset. And um, who are we upset with? We are upset with the lawyers of the petitioner. The petitioner in this case being President John Dramani Mahama. And he has petitioned the Supreme Court in a matter in which he is challenging um, in exercise of his right as a Ghanaian under Article 64. He's challenging the validity of the election. And we know that we are covering that. We'll cover that again tonight on this program. But we begin with our major complaint. We are very upset because the lawyers of the petitioners have um, appropriated what we believe is our intellectual property rights. Intellectual property rights because when we conduct Good Evening Ghana interviews, we do have the intellectual property rights to it. And unless a court has subpoenaed it for it to appear in court to be played, we do not think that parties to the case must use our video in court without reference to us. Now, because they did not make reference to us, when they used our video in court, we are angry. Because lead counsel for the petitioner told the court that they have actually attached our video, our Metro TV video. The lawyers for the petitioners had attached it to their, their, their documents in court. And on this particular occasion, and we are going to show you the video, they asked the court that the court should play the video attached to their, 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 their document. And when the video was played, it was our interview. We, we struggled to get that interview. It was not very easy to get Mark Menu and Joe Anoche to speak to us on that day. We had to carry our cameras to that place. We bought petrol. So we are going to send them a bill because people must respect intellectual property rights of media houses. I mean, you can go on Facebook and look at Joe FN's video, look at City Metro TV's video and enjoy it. But when you want to use it for a public matter, in your interest, you have to recognize that it is somebody's work. This is law. These are lawyers. We are particularly upset tonight that our video has been played in court. Our attention was drawn to it. But we wanted to look at it and see. Now, today, we found the video. So we're going to show you the video that had been used. And then we will show you the court process where the lawyers for the petitioners were inviting the court to allow them to play the video. They just said, a video. That has McMenu saying something that they like. McMenu says something that they believe makes a case or two for them. And they did not reference the people who, by dint of hard work, produced, conducted that interview, produced the video, and put the video out on television and on social media for them to extract. In fact, they didn't even write to us that they wanted a, a letter. They didn't write to us that they wanted a video. They, they didn't write to us that we want the video from Metro TV, this video that was used, so that we can give it to them and say that we believe that this will assist in making our case because we are a broadcast service uh, uh, company. Yes, we are commercial, but we are also very responsible. We are not the state broadcaster. We do not carry the obligations of the state broadcaster as expressed by the Supreme Court in the MPP and the GBC, where the Supreme Court expressed the obligations of the state broadcaster and clearly distinguished those obligations from the private broadcaster. We are a private broadcaster, but we are a responsible company. So if there's a major case like that and part of our video, our broadcast, our work would be helpful to any of the parties, in the interest of justice, we are obliged, we, we feel a moral obligation in the interest of justice to present that video to anyone who needs it. But we do not like it when our video is captured either on social media or, or some other way and is attached to the petitioner's claims and they send it to court and they invite the court to play it and they still will not recognize that this video is from Metro TV. We do not like that. We don't like that one bit. This is the, the 21st century. This is 2021. We don't like that. Please, lawyers for the petitioners, we will send a bill to Sami Jinfi, 1,250 cities. So you're going to pay us 1,250 cities, please. And you're going to buy our crew. And sometimes when we show uh, behind the scenes, you see how many people are working here for this program. You're going to pay our, buy our crew Mawako, Mawako fried rice and chicken for three programs. We run our programs on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So you're going to buy us Mawako, fried rice and chicken. Or you will buy us papaya. I, I, I think my people were nodding to the Mawako. I think they like the Mawako. So you buy Mawako or papaya, whichever one, for three consecutive programs from next, this week Thursday, next week Tuesday, and next week Thursday. 
Yeah, it sounds like a joke. Yeah, we're joking about that. But we're going to send you an invoice for 1,200 CDs. But please, people must understand that what we do here and what other media houses do is hard work. It's very difficult work. We don't put out, it, it takes, we, we have sleepless nights. If you come and look at my phone, 3.20 a.m. in the morning, I'm sending my editor captions that put this on social media at 6 o'clock. He's awake from 11 o'clock to 6 a.m. We are awake all the time trying to put these videos together, one, to beat the competition, and two, to serve the public interest purpose. And we don't want people to just appropriate our video, just take the video, go to court, and ask the court to show it, and you don't say anything about Metro TV. And the court is showing the thing, and the Metro TV logo is there, big like that. And the, the people who took the video to the court, but as, that video doesn't belong to you. I do not even know why the court did not ask them that where did you get the video from. The video is not yours. It's not NDC TV. It is Metro TV. And the interview was not conducted by the editor of NDC TV News. It was conducted by Good Evening Ghana on Metro TV. How do you send a video like that to court and just play it? Well, from what we have extracted in the court, we see that no mention was made of Metro TV. And we are upset about that. We are very upset about that. Let me show you the video first, and then I'll show you the court proceedings. Here is the video that they used, and we had actually showed it on this program before when we knew that they were preparing to, to use something like that because they wrote it in their witness statement. We didn't give it to them. We didn't give it to them. They found it. Here is the video. This is how it looks like. So there's a story from uh, the coalition room. There's a narrative that came out. Rojo Metal Nunu and Pesa White yeah. say that they were given information to go and give to President Mahama. When they left, then you guys put yourself together, led by Gene Mensah, and you went to do the declaration. A lot of people have been asking questions on social media, that how do two important men go and give one message to the president? One could that have waited. What happened? Did they, did they leave the room at any point? Oh, but everybody could leave the room, either to go and eat or something, or to go and have a word with somebody. I, I could leave there and come here, because I needed to always have some background. Okay. That's why we say... Uh, speed. Yeah, yeah. You know, okay. To, 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 to recheck whatever. But what do you remember the one hour before the declaration? What happened? Did they leave? Oh, I, I, they, they, they left. Do I remember former Ghana's ambassador to, to, to Zimbabwe? Uh, Tamaklo? Tamaklo. Yeah, Sylvanos. Sil 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 Sylvanos Sil came looking for them. For, for okay, them. Mm -hmm. Let me see. But specifically, he was looking for uh, Rojo. Okay. So he stood there and I said, oh, they, they just went out. I think they will come because they are a lot of one. Mm -hmm. yeah. So he too was hanging around. Uh, later, I was going to use the bathroom. I, I saw him. I said, ah, well, they will come. Try and call him. So mm -hmm. I just went to the bathroom and came, and came back. Mm -hmm. He was still standing. When I came, they were not there. But we were waiting for Sabelugu mm -hmm. and then certification of, I think, Bono East. Okay. Ha. Later... Bono East came, Goom side, uh, MPP side, CPP side. But NDC were not there. NDC were there. Yes, so that's the video. The, the whole controversy was the issue about trying to show that when Pesa White and um, Rojo Metal Nunu left the room, they intended to come back. Okay, so you are NDC, you are lawyers for the petitioners. Your people tell you that they left the Electoral Commission room and... Um, they intended to come back. Your opponents are saying that, no, when they left, they didn't intend to come back. And they are saying that they left their laptops there. And your opponents say, no, they didn't want, intend to come back. Then you find a video done by a television program, an interview that we painstakingly conducted with Peter McMenu, the chairman of the campaign of the NPP, where he says to us, he didn't say it to you, he said it to us. And we extracted that information from him. We asked him questions. We prepared our questions. We read the outcome. We read the report. We followed the election. We wrote out our questions. We had a discussion. It's all intellectual property. It's work. It's somebody's work. It's our work. It's not your work. NDC lawyers, hello? It's not your work. You don't take somebody's work to the court and then say, show it in support of my case without recognizing that this is somebody's work. I am totally shocked that this is the, this is the altar of law. This is the platform of law. Intellectual property is a cardinal part of today's law. That intellectual property is so serious. At the Attorney General's Department, they have a whole department that looks after intellectual property. Musicians are complaining about Gamero and all of that. All of that is intellectual property. Recently, we were here. We were here, not to remind the family of sad news, but uh, the guy who died on, of coronavirus from London, 
uh, Uncle John's Bakery's guy. We were here when a British television company sent an email to us. I can show you the email. That they are doing some work on Ghanaian businesses in London. They want to use our video. So they are writing to us to ask us whether they can actually use the video and how much it will cost. We told them how much it will cost. They got their finance people to send us an email for us to fill a form so that we will be paid our money. Because it is our work. And we wouldn't have known. We live here, the thing was going to be shown in Britain. Maybe we will know, maybe we will know. We wouldn't have known. But they had the decency to write to us that this is your video. This is your work. We want to use it as part of our work. When we're doing our films and we're using material from the Ghana Broadcasting Corporation, we write to them, even though they are partners. But how can you just pick our work and go to court and say, my Lord, I have attached a video. Please show it and let the, the respondents know that what they were saying is not true, that what Pesa White is saying is true. This is the video. You don't say that, my Lord, we have found a video by Metro TV in which Peter McManu seems to admit something that we have said. Can you please show the video? This video is by Metro TV. You don't say that. You just tell them, my Lord, you want to... It's a video for you. What? I don't like that. Nobody in my position would like that. This work is hard work, oh. It's not simple. When it comes on television, it looks simple. But it's a lot of hard work. We are up in the night all the time, risk, running risk. Sometimes we are here in this room. Election time, we're here forever. We are here doing our work. When we close the program tonight, the thing you will see on Facebook tomorrow, it is when we have closed today at 11 p.m. When we have closed, that's when we start preparing what you see on social media. When, when you, if you go to the cloud and download all the things we put on social media, that's how much effort we put in. In Ghana, we don't do pay TV. We are broadcasting to free to air. Nobody is paying us for the broadcast. We have to compete for advertising in that very small space. When we say digital migration, some people don't even understand it. We, 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 so we work. We start work at 11 p.m. for you to be able to see that on social media. One, for us to beat the competition. Two, for us to be able to, to inform and entertain our, our viewers. Some people will write back on social media and even insult you. That's okay. No problem about that. We take that in our stride. But we don't want people who are very, very responsible, like distinguished members of the bar, to present our work to no less a court than the Supreme Court without making reference to the fact that this is work for Metro TV. There are 1,001 stations that interviewed McMenu on this election matter. Many TV stations went to McMenu's place where we showed and interviewed him. Did anyone get that information from McMenu? Did anyone get that story from McMenu? Was anyone able to evince that story from McMenu? Did anyone write questions that spoke to McMenu so that he will bring out that information? Did anyone find that story important to confront McMenu with it? If by the grace of God we got wisdom to do it and you want to use it, you won't give us credit. You don't respect our work and we are disappointed. You do not respect our work. And if you know the work we do here, you will respect it. We respect your work. And we expect you to respect our work. It's very, very important. This is bad. NDC lawyers, don't do that again. Don't take somebody's video and go to court and go and use it in support of your case without making reference to the person. Listen to the interview again. See how we had to turn around and bring the question around and tell McMinnu that there's a, there's a story going around. What do you know about the story? That is investigative work. It is work. It's not free. It costs us money to achieve it. Let's now watch what happened in the court. When the NDC lawyers were asking the court to play their attached video. Let's have a look at it. Hello, I believe we adjourn after your ruling. Uh, we would request before the course examination begins that that was standard as part of the witness statement be played respectfully. There was a tape that was tendered as part of the witness statement. Yes, my lord. You, we, he, my lord, it's tendered as part of the evidence in chief. Yes. And so uh, he, he was sworn in and his uh, witness statement was adopted or not. So we think we, after cross examination, we can put it in. I'm sorry, after cross examination? Uh, yes. Well, or, or maybe you want you think maybe they will cross examine on that. Exactly. So oh, okay. it would have been better if it's okay. uh, if it's played for my, my lord. In fact, I mean, as that's what I thought, my lord. Whatever, what you remember, my army 
before the liberation. What happened? Did they leave? Oh, no. I, I, they, they, they left. But I remember former Ghana's ambassador to 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 Zimbabwe. Uh, Tamaklo. Tamaklo. Yes, Sylv Sylv Sylvanos. Sylvanos came looking for them. For, for okay, them. Mm -hmm. see, but specifically, he was looking for uh, Rujo. Okay. So he stood there and I said, oh, they, they just went out. I think they will come because they are a lot of them. Mm -hmm. this year. So he too was hanging around. Uh, later, I was going to use the bathroom, but I saw him. I said, ah, well, they will come try and call him. So mm -hmm. I just went to the bathroom and came, and came back. Mm -hmm. He was still standing. When I came, they were not there. But we were waiting for Sabelugu mm -hmm. and then certification of I think Bono East. Okay. Ha. Later, Bono East came, Goom side, uh, MPP side, CPP side. But NDC were not there. NDC were not there. Mm -hmm. So there's a story from uh, the coalition room. There's a narrative that came out. Roger Matununu and Have you seen that? The lead counsel of the NDC wanted our video to be showed to make his case for his cross-examination. He didn't make reference to us. At least not in all the videos that we have seen. We are worried about that. We are unhappy. We are upset. We are going to send them a bill. 1,200 cities plus rice and chicken for our crew for the next three editions. Now, people who are writing on Facebook uh, making it funnier than I thought. Somebody has written, what is his name? Let me check out his name. His name is Nana Entry V or something like that. I mean, he writes like he doesn't understand what we are saying. You, Nana Entry V, you're a young man growing up in Ghana. Is that how your brain works? Your mind, is that how it works? This is your response to what I'm saying. His response is that, okay, so who authorized you to put Mahama picture at your studio? You fool, pa. Young man, it's sad for Ghana when you see people, young people, he doesn't understand intellectual property. He won't go and Google it and Google intellectual property and write to me and say that I have Googled intellectual property. You have no right to say what you are saying and make a reference or something like that. He's writing and asking, why have you put Mohammed's photograph at the back of your studio? So NDC, you are complaining NDC used your video. You too, you've put the photograph. This is very sad. This is very, very sad. If... That, this guy is a Ghanaian, he's a young person, Nana Entry V. I don't even know whether he's using the right name. His V, he spells it V, triple, triple I, or something like that. Please, please, please. Let's get serious. I hope he's joking, but he added an insult, so maybe he's not joking. I hope he's joking, but he should really not be doing that. This is serious complaint, and we are not complaining just about ourselves. We are complaining about intellectual property rights and why our intellectual property rights should be respected.